Hi, I'm Ken of Wrist Innovations, and today I'm going to show you how you can make five easy gifts that you can give or sell by combining a 3D printer and a diode laser engraver. I'll be using my 3D printers and an Algo Laser Alpha Mark II 20 watt diode laser. So if you've mainly been focusing on 3D printing, you can decide if a laser engraver would help you to enhance your 3D prints. I've organized the video into chapters listed in the description that will allow you to skip around the video depending on what's important to you. All the materials I use in the video are in the description below. I'd like to thank ZBanks for sending me the Algo Laser Alpha Mark II laser engraver for my evaluation. Okay, so let's get started. Number one, wine bottle stoppers. This wine bottle stopper is a great gift that you can make as part of a housewarming gift or even to sell online or craft shows. I designed the bottle stopper body using Fusion 360, including adding a 3 8 inch diameter tapped hole in the bottom for the stainless steel stopper and a 1 inch diameter recess in the top for a laser engraved wood insert. I 3D printed the body in about 50 minutes using PLA. For the laser engraved insert, I used this pre-finished walnut that was about two millimeters thick. First, I needed to run a materials test to determine the correct settings to engrave and cut out the inserts. For the engraving, I used a speed range of 4,000 millimeters per minute to 20,000 millimeters per minute and a laser power range of 20% to 100%. I found the best combination of speed and power to engrave the walnut to be 14,000 millimeters per minute at 90% power and for cutting 800 millimeters per minute at 90% power. The beauty of the laser is that you can engrave and cut very precisely in finer detail than you can with a 3D printer. In my example, I engraved a monogram, but you could engrave anything you want. The material cost of this gift is 26 cents for the plastic, 20 cents for the wood, and $7.45 for the stainless steel stopper for a total material cost of under $8 and they can easily sell for $30. Rather than just a piece of plastic that you printed on your 3D printer, you have enhanced your product by adding a stainless steel piece and a custom engraving. Number two, this set of drink coasters are really easy to design and make, and they could also be part of a housewarming gift. And they are also popular items to sell. I designed the drink coaster body using Fusion 360 and I made a recess to allow these 4 inch diameter cork inserts to fit inside. I 3D printed each coaster in about 46 minutes using PLA. To engrave the cork, just like with the wood, I first needed to run a materials test to determine the optimum laser engraving settings. I found the best combination of the speed and power to engrave the cork to be 6,000 millimeters per minute at 40% power. You can engrave text, photos, or anything you can dream up on the cork. For the monogram, it took about 10 minutes to engrave each cork piece. The material cost of each coaster is 70 cents for the plastic and $1.10 for the cork for a per piece material cost of $1.80. So for a set of four, the total material cost is $7.20, which can easily sell for $30. So instead of just making a plastic coaster that doesn't absorb water, you can upgrade your coaster and personalize it by using the cork to enhance your product. Number three, black anodized picture. Laser engravers do a great job engraving anodized aluminum. So I bought these five inch by seven inch black anodized aluminum plates. And then I designed this simple stand in Fusion 360. I 3D printed each stand in about 31 minutes using PLA. The stand holds the aluminum plate in either the portrait or landscape orientation. Before I engraved this photo, first I ran a materials test to determine the optimal laser engraving settings. I found the best combination of speed and power to engrave the aluminum to be 3,000 millimeters per minute at 90% power. You can engrave text, photos, or anything else. In my case, I etched this photo using grayscale, and it took approximately an hour and a half to engrave. The material cost of each gift is 61 cents for the plastic and $3.20 for the anodized aluminum sheet for a total material cost of $3.81, which can easily sell for $30 to $40. Number four, can you guess what this is? Many people have never seen this before. So when I was doing craft shows, 
I bet people a dollar that they couldn't guess what this thing was. You'd be surprised at some of the answers I heard. Did you figure out what this is yet? It's a bottle opener. Once again, this bottle opener is a great product that you can make as part of a housewarming gift and have fun having everyone guess what it is. Of course, it's also a great seller at craft shows. I designed the bottle opener body using Fusion 360, including adding a 3 8 inch diameter tapped hole in the bottom for the stainless steel opener and a 1 inch diameter recess in the top for a laser engraved wood insert, just like I did for the wine bottle stopper. I 3D printed each opener in about 37 and a half minutes using PLA. For the laser engraved insert, I used this pre-finished walnut that was two millimeters thick, just like I did for the bottle opener. In my example, I engraved a monogram, but you could engrave anything you want. The material cost of this gift is 59 cents for the plastic, 20 cents for the wood, and $8.70 for the stainless steel opener, for a total material cost of $9.49, and they can easily sell for $40. Number five, keepsake jewelry boxes. This keepsake jewelry box is another great gift that you can make as a housewarming gift or even to sell online or at craft shows. I designed the keepsake box using 360. I designed it in several pieces, including the body, the lid, and the knob, and I added a four inch diameter recess to the top for a laser engraved wood insert. I 3D printed all the parts in about five hours using PLA. For the wood insert, I used the same pre-finished walnut as for the bottle stoppers and bottle openers. In my example, I left the wood without any engraving, but you could engrave anything you wanted. The material cost of this gift is $3 for the plastic and $1.60 for the wood, for a total material cost of approximately $4.60, which easily can sell for $40 to $50. So rather than just having a plastic box, you've enhanced your product by adding a customized, personalized wood engraving to the box. I 3D printed several variations of the boxes using various PLA filaments, including gray sparkle, black, white, silver, and silver metal, and several wood species such as zebra wood, bird's eye maple, paduk, and walnut. I also wanted to make some lid variation by using a marquetry technique. Marquetry is when you take thin wood veneer and you cut patterns and then fit the individual pieces of veneer to create a design. I have a separate video that contains more details on how I made the marquetry and that link is in the description. Since I'm guessing you may have more experience with 3D printing than laser engraving, next I'm going to cover the features of the Algo Laser Alpha Mark II laser engraver. The Alpha Mark II is a 20 watt diode laser and it has an engraving or cutting area of 400 millimeters by 400 millimeters. There are longer legs that can be attached to the bottom to increase the height of the laser. The Alpha Mark II can cut and or engrave cardboard, wood, rubber, leather, fabric, colored acrylic, and metal. Just to note, diode lasers can't cut clear acrylic. It has a maximum speed of 20,000 millimeters per minute. It has an integrated air assist which removes smoke near your workpiece, so it protects the laser lens and it makes it a cleaner cut. You can manually adjust it with the push button and also automatically adjust it through the Lightburn software. The Alpha Mark II has five safety features, including limit switches that will stop the machine if the laser module hits the boundary. It has a tilt sensor which will detect if the laser gets accidentally tilted or dropped, the alarm will sound and the laser will stop. There's a security lock to prevent children or others from turning on the laser. There's an emergency stop button which allows you to quickly turn off the laser in an emergency. And the laser protective cover is mounted to the laser head to reduce the laser reflection. The Alpha Mark II comes with its own application software, which allows you to operate the laser without a computer. But it's also compatible with the popular laser Gerbil and Lightburn application software. The Alpha Mark II has Wi-Fi, so you can operate the Alpha Mark II either with or without a computer or offline using a USB drive. For me, I decided to install a computer at the Alpha Mark II and install Lightburn software on the computer. Lightburn is used by many people running laser engravers and at only $60, I think it's a great value for the features of the software. A link is in the description below. At the 
making of this video, the end of February 2025, the sale price of the Alpha Mark II 20 watt laser basic kit is $839, normally $1,199. The basic kit includes the Alpha Mark II 20 watt laser engraver, a honeycomb platform, rotary roller to engrave cylindrical objects, and leg extensions needed for the rotary roller. The sale price of the Alpha Mark II 20 watt laser safe kit is $1,099 normally $1,684, which includes everything in the basic kit, plus a smart safety enclosure and a smart hub. The smart hub controls various accessories. I have an affiliate link in the description below if you're interested. Next, I'll cover how easy it is to unbox and set up the Alpha Mark II. The Alpha Mark II arrived well protected in its packaging. It only took about 30 minutes to assemble the Alpha Mark II. In my opinion, it's important to buy the honeycomb platform and aluminum plate because the honeycomb platform elevates your object to cut to allow the laser to pass through the bottom of the part and it allows the exhaust to pull smoke away from the part. Otherwise, if you tried to cut a part directly on the aluminum plate, the smoke residue will accumulate on the bottom of the part and heat buildup can damage the bottom of the part. A critical component is the aluminum plate, which protects the tabletop surface from the laser. If you don't install the aluminum plate, you could burn a hole right through your dining room table which won't make your spouse very happy at all. Plus, it's a fire hazard. The basic unit is an open design, which means you can be exposed to the laser, which can damage your eyes. So it's critical that you wear laser-approved goggles. Algo Laser included a basic pair of laser glasses. However, I purchased this pair of laser goggles that fully protect my eyes. They are very comfortable and they are certified for this laser's 455 nanometer wavelength. A link is in the description below. It's critical that you exhaust the fumes from your laser engraver because you don't want to be breathing the smoke and other contaminants. An enclosure is included in the safe kit and I feel this is critical to manage the fumes from the laser. It should be viewed as a secondary protection so you should always wear your laser goggles even if you have the enclosure. I wanted a stronger exhaust fan than what came with the enclosure, so I purchased and installed an AC Infinity 6 inch diameter inline exhaust fan that generates 400 cubic feet per minute airflow, so this thing can suck the paint off the wall. It has 10 speed settings and is relatively quiet. A link is in the description below. I made a permanent installation through my wall, but you could also just make a panel and install it in a window. I think a laser engraver machine opens up the world of possibilities to expand and enhance 3D printed products. And I feel I'm just scratching the surface. So please consider subscribing for my future content on this topic. Where do you see how a laser engraver could enhance your 3D prints? Please leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching. Bye.